Hello, I am Dr. Sunil Kuti. I am a brain and spine surgeon at New Era Hospitals, Navi Mumbai. Today, I am going to talk to you about stress and specifically how stress affects our brain. Every time there is a stressful phase in our lives, which I think in today's fast-paced life is not very infrequent. Our brain responds by secreting cortisol. Cortisol as a hormone is wonderful in the short run. It keeps you alert and tries to overcome the stress. But unfortunately, if the stressor lasts for a longer time, the same cortisol has detrimental effects on the brain. The hippocampus of the brain or our memory center starts shrinking. The amygdala or our fear center is overstimulated. No wonder, every time you are stressed, you are anxious and worried. At the same time, your prefrontal cortex is suppressed by the high cortisol levels. The prefrontal cortex is primarily helping you to plan and decide. So, in a stressful phase of life, where you need optimal planning and optimal decision making, the cortisol levels affecting on the prefrontal cortex takes those powers away from you. So that makes it all the more difficult for you to overcome the stress. So what does it eventually lead to? It leads to somebody who is not able to sleep well. It leads to somebody with brain fog memory loss, anxiety, prone to somebody who is very anxious and if it persists for a much longer time it leads to clinical depression. So it is very important that you pick up these points on time, protect your brain and keep it healthy. And how do you do that? The most important thing would be to take to identify the stressor and take it out of your life. If it is a person, identify that person, at least in your head, try and move away from that stressor. If it is a job which is not keeping you happy, which is in fact keeping you stressed, try and find a better one which reduces the stress in your life. If traveling is a stressor, think about how you manage your travels. If an examination is impending and that is what is bothering you, Simple thing would be to prepare regularly so at the end when the examination is closed by you are not too stressed. So find ways to deal with your stressor. Apart from that there are a few general things which would be really helpful in normal life. First would be get adequate sleep and the most important would be to switch off all your gadgets including your TV and light two hours or if possible at least an hour prior to when you plan to sleep. Blue light exposure kind of makes the brain feel that it is still daytime and it has to stay alert. So sleep is kept at bay. So every time you are looking at the telephone screen, you are kind of telling the brain that it is still daytime, not time for you to sleep. So that is one thing which you should try. So if there is a sleep problem, try and look at these small things, try and set it right. The other is regular exercise. It does help improve the quality of your brain, it improves your sleep and at the end of it, it also helps us overcome stress. Most important would be being a mindful person. Practice mindfulness in every moment. Instead of living in the past and worrying about the future, it's best to live in the present Enjoy the moment. Try and do as much justice as you can with that moment. And that is how you can actually prevent the stressors accompanying that. So that is the most simple way to deal with stress. So today I spoke to you about how stressors affects the brain. And once you understand that it really affects the brain, I am pretty sure that you will do everything to keep it at bay and I have given you a few solutions also which will help you keep 
Splash at Brain. Thank you.